السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا مرحبا كيف حالكم This is Yaqa Zaman and we're on another Jum'a day We're in another Jum'a day on, on another Jum'a, in another Jum'a Well anyway, whatever's happening, it's Jum'a again And uh, as you guys all know, Jum'a has been suspended in the UK and lots of parts of the world because of coronavirus but that doesn't mean that Islam has been suspended. Alhamdulillah, Islam works everywhere. Yeah, whether you're on earth, whether you're on the moon, or as you guys know, I was writing a book on Mars, the Muslim on Mars. Whether you're on Mars, Islam is going to work every single place. So, saying that, you know, we should never lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is one of the beautiful things about our religion, that Allah can be worshipped in any condition that you're in. Whether you're in a healthy condition, ill condition, whether you're a traveler, whether you're a resident, whether you're married, non-married, whether you're a parent, child, grandparent, whatever you are, you can always worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, saying that, have you guys read Surah Al-Kahf today? Hmm. If you can't read the entire Surah Al-Kahf, the scholars say you can read the first 10 verses of Surah Al-Kahf. Right, so Surah Al-Kahf were the first 10 verses. And some narrations actually mention memorizing the first 10 verses of Surah Al-Kahf protects you from the influences and effects of the Dajjal until the next week, until the next Juma, and some narrations mention until next Juma and three more days. So that's 10 days basically. So, um, did you guys have your if Suhoor? So I had my Suhoor last night and I tried what well, some of you guys mentioned, trying uh, the... Uh, Peanut butter. So I tried peanut butter. And actually, in fact, uh, we actually had the peanut butter uh, whole, what is it called? Whole whole wheat or whole, whole some or something like that. Yeah, we tried that. And it's quite good, yeah. Quite good, quite nice. I mean, I had it with the porridge, but it doesn't really kind of change the taste of it. Or are you supposed to eat it separately? Yeah, so... Um, so yeah, I had that, had some nuts and had some coconut water. Yeah, coconut water was good. Had some uh, Actimel. Actimel. It's called Act Actimel. You know, small little plastic bottles of like that yogurt. And it's supposed to be good for your gut. So I had some of that as well. Uh, yeah, and Alhamdulillah, feeling good, feeling um, okay today. Or feeling a bit tired as well. Um, I think it's probably because it's hot outside as well. And I had a Juma. Friday live stream and plus I'm going to have now in a bit I'm going to have National Zakat Foundation explanation or Zakat workshop um, so yeah and I've got a radio radio appeal after that for a Sufa Institute until late at night I don't know what time until late so that's another thing that I thought I'd tell you guys okay so let's just read some of your comments then um, 50k special uh, you could get a cake or any dessert and cut it on live stream or podcast and then do Quran recitation or sing a nasheed or some poetry. MashaAllah, you proper thought this out like a proper event. Sounds good. Uh, but I think it's going to be difficult in Ramadan. Cake doesn't kind of mix well. I would say Bismillah to any food, uh, iftari, because when you, you've been fasting all day, Alhamdulillah, whatever there is in front of you, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, that's the way, man, that's the way. Yeah. Uh, MashaAllah, excellent. Uh, S. Hussein, uh, 50k special treat. You should, maybe some singing, we could vote, choose a nasheed. Whole earth, yes, the one, whole earth peanut butter. Is it sugar free, yeah? Something I never want to eat, iftar, samosa, pakoras that have been deep fried in, in oil has been used over and over again and used to fry other stuff so that you eat a pakora and get kebab flavor Allah Akbar yeah that's it man that's the used uh, oil yeah when it has all those flavors yeah that's what uh, chip shops do as well uh, Asian Asian mums do that yeah so uh, uh, yeah I think in Pakistan I remember they used to have that in Pakistan that was the bell there in Pakistan they have that have like outside they have these guys and they have these massive like kind of uh pots or like woks big kind of like 
and they're filled with oil and they like cook loads of stuff. I don't I don't know if they filter it out or they put new oil in regularly. Allah knows best. <laughs> but um but yeah, I agree with you. Having uh stuff fried in oil that's been used a million times isn't uh, the best thing to have. So alright guys, Jazakumullah Khair. I will see you guys uh next week inshallah. Remember my Saturday Sunday I get off. Alhamdulillah, Chuti. Uh take it inshallah and remember uh Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.